6, rent prices in Boston are dropping. Typically, September is the hardest time to find an apartment in the city. But plenty of apartments are sitting empty right now. WBZ's Louisa Moeller explains why landlords are having a hard time finding tenants. The boxes and moving vans paint a picture of a semi-normal Alston Christmas, but real estate agents say the typically frantic apartment changeover day for Boston has certainly been altered by the pandemic. And we actually have a building in um, in Harvard Square um, that we've been, had trouble renting out because Harvard has gone completely online. Landlords are finding it hard to fill buildings typically crammed with college students. And more than 10,000 apartments in Boston remain up for grabs. A major change for the once booming rental market, fueled by remote learning at some colleges and a shift to working from home. In downtown, there are still ads for brand new luxury apartments, but on average, rents are roughly $200 to $600 lower than last year, and it's tenants who now have the upper hand. So the biggest decrease we've saw, seen so far is a, a $1,200 decrease on a five-bedroom in Brighton. That's why John Puma from apartment search site Places for Less says landlords and brokers are offering sweet deals. We've seen two to three months rent free. Other incentives like free parking, uh, waived deposits, waived pet fees, uh, all kinds of incentives. Many turning to virtual tours inside these buildings and settling in for the long haul. Uh, we expect by this coming weekend that there'll be another round of price reductions. Um, because it's, it's finally going to set in uh, what September 1st looks like. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.